Hello there everyone, hope you're doing well. This is a tutorial about how to erase, partition, and format a storage device using Mac OS X. Um, before we jump right into the formatting and erasing and partitioning, uh, let me give you a bit of information about hard drives to help you uh, sort of understand. Now there are many different kinds of storage devices, but the two main ways you want to think about them are internal or external. It's either in your machine or it's outside of your machine. It's one or the other. Both of them come in a variety of types and many different form factors. Um, the main ones you should be familiar with are hard disk drive, a flash drive, and solid state drive. Um, a hard disk drive, it's cheaper and uh, has a larger capacity, but it has moving parts and it's uh, it's not as fast and not as reliable as a solid state drive or flash memory. Um, solid state drive and flash memory really only vary in form factor. A solid state drive is really just flash memory in a, in a form that will fit in a regular hard drive slot. Now while flash memory and solid state drives are a lot faster and more reliable, uh, they are a lot more expensive. So, you know, so for the same amount you'd spend on, you know, a 500 gigabyte uh, hard disk drive, you may get 64 gigabytes or 128 uh, gigabytes of solid state flash memory. Now, external storage devices can come with a variety of different ports. Um, the main interface ports that you need to know about are USB 2.0 and 3.0, Firewire 400 and 800, and Thunderbolt. Uh, here they are in order from slowest to fastest, with Firewire 400 being the slowest and Thunderbolt being the fastest. Now, while Thunderbolt is the fastest, it's also uh, the least common and most expensive. The most common would be USB 2.0 and 3.0 and that's what we're going to be using for this tutorial. Okay let's get started. So for this tutorial we're going to be using a USB 3.0 external hard drive. It is bus powered which means that we don't need another power cord for the hard drive to turn on. It is powered through the USB port on my computer. So here's the USB 3.0 cord. It is backwards compatible with USB 2.0. It has two ends. The first end here is the device end. This plugs into the external hard drive. The other end is the host end that plugs into your computer. So let's go ahead and plug it up. Take the device end right here and then grab your hard drive right here and just take the device end and plug it into the hard drive. You shouldn't have to force it, it should just fit in there nice and easy. Alright. Next you'll want to take the host end and plug it into one of the USB ports on your computer. And again it should just slide right in. No need to force it. Alright, as soon as you plug in your external hard drive, depending on how you have your computer configured, the icon for the external hard drive should show up right on the desktop for you. Just like that. Now I only plugged in one hard drive but we're seeing two different volumes here. That's because I already have this hard drive partitioned into two separate sections. This section I'm currently using so I don't want to lose that data. This is the partition that we'll use for the demo. Now, if your hard drives don't show up on the desktop, don't freak out immediately. Open up a finder window and see if you can find them in the sidebar. If you don't see them in the sidebar, click on finder, go to preferences, check to be sure that external disks is selected, and then under general, be sure that external disks is selected. Because as you can see, if it's not selected, they don't show up when you select it they do show up it's funny how that works alright so 
If they're still not showing up after that, you may have an issue. Click on the spotlight icon up in the menu bar and type in disk and you'll see disk utility come right up at the top. Press the enter key and disk utility will open. Now you can use disk utility to manage all of the disks and storage devices connected to your computer. Here's my internal device and this is the physical device that uh, I'm using for a hard drive and then below it you can see the partition that I'm using. It's the same for this one. Here's the physical device and then indented below the physical device are the two partitions that I have. And if you select on one of the partitions you can see the mount point and the format and the capacity all of the data pertaining to that partition. If we select demo we can see that it's uh, the fat form, the extended fat format. Mac OS X primarily uses the Mac OS extended partition format. Um, it can, however, use a few different variations as well as um, FAT and extended FAT. The benefit of using the FAT format is that the volume that you format with FAT will be readable and writable for both Windows and Mac OS X. If you have an NTFS partition, it'll be readable by Mac OS X, but not writable without some tweaking and downloading some, some special add-ons. And if you have a, a Mac OS extended partition, it won't be readable or writable for a Windows machine. So if you click on the icon for the physical disk, you have these tabs up here have the erase tab and when you erase a partition or a disk it asks you to name the disk and select what type of format you want to use if you click on the partition tab you can see the current partitions that you have uh, a Mac OS extended partition can be resized a fat partition cannot be resized it can only be reformatted erased and replaced now let's click on the demo partition and go back to the erase tab. Now you can see if you double click on demo I've got a file here or a folder full of files. Let's rename this to something else to Bluebell and we can click erase it'll unmount the partition reformat it and then remount it and it'll be empty. If you click on security options here you can choose to have disk utility do multiple passes over the partition. This is a security measure to try to prevent disk recovery applications from recovering the data on the disk. So rather than just telling the disk, hey, you're empty, it actually says you're empty and then it starts to write zeros over everything. So you can have it write zeros you know one time or three times or seven times and this can take a really really long time so unless you have something that you really don't want disk recovery applications to get a hold of just keep it on fastest it's uh, it's very effective and it does what you need it to do so as soon as we click erase it'll warn you that uh, all the data on that partition is going to be um, lost so click erase you'll see it'll unmount uh, very quickly the demo partition, format it, and then remount the Bluebell partition. But you can see that the My Passport partition was completely unaffected by the function we just carried out on the demo partition, which is now the Bluebell partition. Another option we have here is the Erase Free Space option. This is essentially the same as the security option, except rather than writing over the entire disk, like it says, it only overwrites the free space. So anything allocated as free space, though it may have some data written there, this will write over that data to prevent the recovery of those files. So you really want something to be permanently deleted. That's why you would use this. 
All right, so just to recap, you plug your external hard drive into the USB port or FireWire port or whatever you've got. It shows up on your desktop. And then you go up to Spotlight, type in Disk, and open Disk Utility. And then select from the sidebar which disk or partition you wish to alter. And then you can either erase or uh, partition the hard drive. And remember that Mac OS extended partition can be resized, but the extended FAT partition cannot be resized. Well, that's all for this tutorial on how to erase, format, and partition hard drives using Mac OS X.